Welcome to JAM, Jesus and Me, Heritage United Church's Children's Ministry Online. Join us each week for a game, a story, a craft. It's sure to be a fun time. Let's get going. Jesus rode into town to the shouts and cheers of all the people. Let us hear our story. The story I've chosen to share with you, the story the, the story I have chosen to share with you this morning is a story called "The Donkey That No One Could Ride" by Anthony De Stefano. Such a beautiful story, I couldn't resist sharing it with you this morning. There once was a donkey, young, weak, and small, so weak he could carry nothing at all. Even when children sat on his hide, he'd wobble and tumble and fall on his side. No matter how much he tried or he cried, this donkey that no one could ride. He couldn't haul stones, he couldn't dig ditches, or carry rich men with their bag full of riches. He couldn't pull carts, 
with huge bales of hay. Just lifting a feather would make his legs sway. No, this donkey was useless, no good at all. Too puny, too shaky, too scrawny, too small. Now the donkey's owner was quite a mean man. He pointed to the donkey, I've had quite enough. He pointed his finger and he said with a huff, you can't lift a person, no matter how light. So take all your things and get out of my sight. Go away from here, donkey, go away and just hide. What use is a donkey that no one can ride? So the donkey was led to the far edge of town, pulled by his neck with his head hanging down. He was tied to a post in a small dusty road and left all alone with his tears overflowed, left all alone and wondering why. He was born to be weak and born to be shy and born to be frightened and born to cry. Just then, two men approached, appeared alongside the post in the village where the donkey was tied. They came without warning on that fateful day. They came and untied him and took him away. The donkey was frightened. He said to the men, where are we going? And then said again, where are we going? And where? what about me? Please leave me alone and just let me be. Keep quiet, the men said. We mean you no harm. Just follow us quickly, no cause for alarm. They walked for miles and miles until they got to a town at the foot of a hill. At the foot of the hill stood a man tall and thin, wearing a cloak and a beard on his chin. He had eyes that seemed sad and longish dark hair and a voice soft and gentle that floated on air. He said to the donkey, it's time that you knew about the great thing that you're destined to do. You'll carry me into the city, we too. Into the city, I'll ride atop you. What's that you say, cried the donkey with dread? That's simply no way. You've been misled. I'm just a small weakling. You must go ahead and look for another to take you instead. You see, I'm just hopeless. Ever since I was born, I've been subject to insults and teasing and scorn. My back's somewhat crooked, my legs aren't strong. I'm just a big failure who does everything wrong. Won't you believe me? The sad donkey cried, just leave me alone and cast me aside. I'm just a poor donkey that no one can ride. The man looked at him with a face that was wise, with a warm, tender smile and love in his eyes. And then in a calm and mysterious way, he opened his mouth and started to say, my help is enough. It's all that you need. It's all you require in life to succeed. The weaker you are, the more strength I give. I'll be there to help you as long as you live. And I know you feel tired and frightened and broken, but do you believe these words that I've spoken? Do you believe? I ask you again. Do you have faith? I can heal you, my friend. For some reason, the donkey was sure that he knew the words the man spoke were honest and true. They were said with such kindness and caring and love. It seemed that they came from heaven above. The donkey burst out. I believe that it's true. I believe, he repeated. I believe, yes, I do. The man stretched out his hand and closed both his eyes. And then to the little donkey's surprise, he felt a sensation he couldn't control from the top of his head right down to his soul. All of a sudden, he realized that now his body was stretching and changing somehow. Most amazing of all, at that very hour, the donkey began to sense he had power. He didn't feel small or weak 
any longer. Instead, he felt stronger and stronger and stronger. He could feel his body, the energy flowing. He could see with his eyes that his muscles were growing. His back felt like iron. His legs felt like steel. His chest felt so strong, he, it just couldn't be real. It's a miracle, it's a miracle, the donkey cried out. A miracle, a miracle beyond any doubt. In order to show all the thanks that he felt, the donkey bowed his head down and knelt in front of the man who had made him so strong with a beard on his chin and hair that was long. The man looked upon him with sorrowful eyes that he sat on his back and told him to rise. We're bound for that city that's west of the hill. I have a great mission I need to fulfill. The donkey got up. His tears had all dried. With big bulging muscles, he started to stride. No longer a donkey that no one could ride. Now he had courage and power and pride. He started to stride. He started to run. He couldn't believe he was having such fun. With an eclipity clop, an eclipity clop, he kept right on going with no need to stop. But as they drew near to the gate of the town, the donkey could hear a very strange sound. The curious noise made him perk up his ears. What could it be? It sounded like cheers. Soon crowds of people came into sight, shouting and waving their arms with delight. They were cheering the man and giving him praise, yelling hosannas and crying hoorays. It was amazing to see the love they expressed. They call him a prophet and he said he was blessed. In front of the donkey, they threw with their arms flowers and garments and branches and palms. They laid all these down and started to sing, calling the man a savior and king. The donkey was happy, gone were his tears. Never had people sung in his ears. Never was there a moment so sweet as carrying a king with palms at his feet. And all of his life after, the donkey rejoiced that the king had made such a wonderful choice to help with the greatest mission of all. The king used a donkey, young, weak, and small. The end. Okay, boys and girls, the young and the young at heart. Our game for today is much like a part of our story that we just heard about how when Jesus and this young donkey that had grown so strong came into the village of Jerusalem and the people laid palm branches and clothes on the ground for them to ride over top of. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with that part of it. What you need to do now, there's two options to this, is you and your family could go through your cupboards as we are get, coming close to spring and maybe you've outgrown some things that you have and there might be a family that could use those items in their home. And so you could make a donation bag of items from all of your clothes and put them back into a nice big garbage bag. I only have a clear one here, but I have a bag, okay? Now, for the game, it sort of suggested that you would have two pairs, of, like a pair of socks, you'd have a belt and a shirt and pants, and maybe a hairband, some gloves, a sweater, a pair of shorts, a scarf, but choose whatever you like. Just make sure that if you're gonna have two teams of people, and you don't need a lot of people to play this, that each bag has the same amount of things in there. They don't necessarily have to be exactly the same things, but they need to have the same amount of things, okay? What you're gonna do then is you're gonna have your bag of clothes at one end of, your, of, of, a, of the area you're going to use to race with this, and all the clothes will stay in that bag to start with. 
To start the game, you're going to choose two items from the bag without looking, and then I'm going to show you what happens. Watch from the other side. Okay, boys and girls, I'm down here just so that you can all see me. I've chosen to start from far away. I've got my bag of stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose two things from your bag, like I said, without really looking. And I'm going to choose these. To, I pulled stuff out of the cupboards here at the church. Some of you might remember some of these from when we've had Christmas pageants and things. So I've got a uh, headband and I've got a, a special gown. What you're going to do is you're going to be using these like they did in the story and they'll be laid down. You can only walk on them, you cannot walk on anything else. So depending on how big your item is, and I'm not going to walk the whole way because I don't want these to get all dirty on this floor, but you would step on one, and then I could, now I got lucky because this is a nice long one. I could lay that down, and then I'm on there, I guess maybe I'll keep going, and then I'm going to walk along this and lay this, oh, this is a nice long one. I'm going to lay this down. And then I'm going to lay this one down until I get back to the front. Now, this is where the other person on your team is going to be. They will be right here when you get to the end of however long you decide to make this. They are then going to take the same items and they're going to go back down that way. So I'll now I'll be the other person. And I'm going back. Two people on your team. Remember what I said. You're going to lay these things down until you get back to the end where the garbage bag is. And this is where you need one other person to participate. So if you don't have as many people, the one person that went up will just have to come back down again to the person who is here. The person that is here is a person who has agreed that they will wear the clothes. So they're gonna be putting on all these items that have been walked on. They're gonna put them all on. The person's gonna keep walking back and forth or taking turns walking back and the person with that has agreed to put the clothes on will be here at the end and the first team to have the person all dressed in the clothes for the people that have walked back and forth whether that's one person or two will be the winner whoever has all the clothes on their body and that is our game for today have fun getting dressed Okay, boys and girls, our craft for today also has to do with when Jesus and the donkey rode into Jerusalem. Besides laying down clothes, who can remember what it was they were waving? Well, if you said palm branches, you were right. So we're going to make our own palm branches today. And what you need is you're going to need some green construction paper. I've got two different shades of green here myself, and maybe you've got more in your own pile of construction paper at your house. You're going to need some glue, some nice sticky glue, a pair of scissors, something to write to draw with, and you're going to need a, what I used was actually a uh, stir stick for paint, because you know, now you're getting to see my craft, but a stir stick for paint, or you could use a longer popsicle stick if you have those at home. What you're going to do is you're going to take your construction paper, you're going to trace your hand on it and you're going to make at least half a six of these or more in the different colors cut them out and then yes as i showed you you're going to glue them on to your stick and then you will have your very own palm branch to wave for palm sunday have fun getting crafty Thank you for joining me once again on Jam, Jesus and Me, for this Palm Sunday. What a great story we shared in this morning and a, a great example of the courage of a young donkey and the triumphant entry into the city of Jerusalem. And so let us go back to our day, to our week, by sharing together in our prayer for today, by folding our hands and closing our eyes, and I invite you to repeat after me. Dear God, you gave a young donkey such courage and joy. May your love 
shine through our lives so that we too will have courage. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great week. See you next time on Jam. Jesus and me. Bye-bye.